So, the admins have decided to add a new overpowered weapon into the game, but unlike the Hyperion, this one is actually a bow. Which is cool and all, but it still doesn't change the fact that all overpowered items are extremely expensive. You guys thought 700 million coins was a lot? How about over 1 billion? Yeah, it's a lot of money. Especially for someone who recently spent 2.5 billion coins on an aspect of the cherry. And while I'm very happy with my aspect of the cherry, I can't deny the fact that it did delay this video a little bit. Since I don't have unlimited money at my disposal, I got this brilliant idea to grind for it. And I think we all know by now that if you start grinding for something in Hypixel Skyblock, it may take a very long time. The bow doesn't cost 1 billion coins for no reason. This is not the first time I have decided to grind for something super rare, but I usually end up buying the item before I get it myself. So this time I really wanted to craft the bow with my very own drop. Was I able to do it? You just have to watch and see. Either way, I I spent a lot of time grinding for this video, so if you could consider subscribing, I would appreciate that a lot. 300k is not that far. Also, make sure to join my Discord, I talk there every day, and maybe even buy my cute lunar cape. That should be all, let's go get this bow! We finally got a new unique slayer, not just a new tier to an existing one that you were able to one hit trade in a pond for millions of experience. No, this slayer is actually difficult. I like to consider myself as a late game player, yet even I had hard time killing the bosses when the update first dropped. I started off with 3 forts necron with warden helmet, dragon pet and 400 million one for all emerald blade. The tier 1 and tier 2 bosses were quite easy, however, when it was time to kill a tier 3, Things started to get interesting. I died. Turns out the dude can deal damage. My gear, that's worth over 2 billion coins, probably way more because I have almost every single talisman and I was using Hyperion as a healing weapon, wasn't enough to kill a tier 3 slayer boss. Obviously I had no idea what I was doing either, but it was still fun to get a slayer that's actually challenging for once. I just had to switch to Baby Yeti and get a summoning ring and I was okay. But the problem was the fact that not only is it not even possible to get the drop I was going for from tier 3 it's not possible to get it at all before getting Enderman Slayer 7, which is 100,000 experience. That would be 1,000 tier 3 kills, and ain't nobody got time for that. But if I wasn't even able to efficiently kill tier 3s, how am I supposed to kill tier 4s? I got my first tier 4 one shot by someone else, and I had a couple other kills because I was doing boss kills with a theme, but neither of those ways were fast enough to be better than just killing tier 3s. My tier 3s did get faster after I got the final destination armor, because I was was able to go back to Ender Dragon, but it would still take a decade to reach Enderman Slayer 7. With the final destination armor, I was able to survive against the tier 4s, but I just couldn't deal enough damage with the Emerald Blade, so the boss just despawned. I needed a better weapon. I needed Atom Split. Just like Zombie Slayer has AOTS, Enderman Slayer has Katanas, and Atom Split is the best one. Unfortunately, Slayer weapons tend to have a level requirement, and of course, I didn't have that level. I needed Enderman Slayer 6. Thankfully, Fully, that only requires 20k experience, so it didn't take too long with tier 3s. But before I show you what happened after I reached level 6, I need to thank today's video sponsor that made this whole grind possible, Daslane. Daslane is the easiest way to keep yourself safe and secure online. Daslane will manage all your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one. Its secure autofill feature that works for personal information and credit cards will save you a lot of time while shopping online. And on top of all that, Daslane also includes a VPN service to prevent prying eyes from tracking your activity online, as well as dark web monitoring that checks if your information is being bought and sold illegally. To give it a try for free on your first device, go to daslane.com palika, and if you decide to upgrade the premium, use code palika for 50% off. Okay guys, it's finally time for me to upgrade my weapon. Hopefully I can kill tier 4s after this. Fabled Atom Split Katana, 215 million coins. Seems to be fully maxed as well. Not like it requires much considering you only need one for all, but still. It does have the potato books and the art of War, which is nice. And so it started, the most tedious part of any slayer, going from level 6 to level 7. You are killing tier 4s, but you can't get any of the expensive drops. I bought some soul flow from Bazaar, which is like fuel for the sword, and goddamn, the plus 400 ferocity you get against Enderman is insane. After a couple failed attempts, I did it, I soloed a tier 4, first of many. And even though I was not able to get a core yet, Enderman Slayer is great because basically every boss was profit thanks to Null Spheres, which is the equivalent of Revenant Flesh. 
Fles. Only difference being the fact that Fles is 3 coins each and Spheres are like 1.5k still. So you made money even without any great drops. Which is weird because usually when you do Slayer you just lose money. A lot of it. It took me like 2 weeks to go from 6 to 7. Not the fastest time, I admit. But honestly, it's not that exciting to grind when there is literally zero chance to get the core. But when I did hit level 7, I also got combat 60, just few bosses before that. Which is great because it's another maxed skill. Would have been better if I got it from the same boss though. The timing was just a little bit off. But yeah, now that I was actually able to get the core as a drop, I started grinding more efficiently. I streamed multiple days a week, because you know, you just have to abuse that streamer luck. And only 86 kills after getting Enderman Slayer 7? The unexpected happened. Look how many rats there are. How am I not getting any magic find? Oh, we got the rune. Crazy. Don't tell me. It's not as rare as core, right? It's not as rare as core. That is really unfortunate. Yeah, did you guys actually think it was that easy? I got bamboozled by the game. I'm still not sure if the rune is as rare as core, but it's definitely really close. That could have been the core right there, but instead we just got a rune. It's a chest plate rune though, so I guess that's kind of unique. I have no idea what it looks like though, and I'm not gonna waste a level one rune. I also got multiple pocket espresso machines and blood calluses, but those are worth like one million eat so it's needless to say that bank was not made until I decided to kill one boss off stream. I still don't really know how it happened because I had literally streamed 90% of my boss kills. Shout out to everyone who watched my streams and one day I was bored and thought that hey maybe I should just kill a few enderman bosses and while the first boss had like 10 million health remaining and was about to die I was like oh damn I don't have my recording software on and a split second later this happened. Mita! Yeah, as you saw there, after telling everyone on Discord that I got a core, it finally hit me that I didn't record it. But since you saw the clip, I obviously did record it somehow, so what actually happened? Well, I always have shadow play on, but it hasn't worked with full screen Minecraft for a very long time. Every time I tried to shadow play something in Minecraft, it would just be a frozen screen with the audio. But not this time. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. I'm really glad I got the clip because I grinded so long for it. Also, I got the drop at 264k experience, and if I remember correctly, I got my overflux at 280k experience. So I got both of the important Slayer drops at pretty much the same time, and off stream as well. But yeah, here we have the core that is currently going for 654 million coins. Getting this as a drop saved me so much money. The rest of the materials shouldn't be that expensive. Here is the recipe for the bow. It requires a couple items that I have never seen before. So let's start with the familiar ones. We need two stacks of tarantula silk, which seems to be only 14 million. This bow doesn't seem too expensive yet. Next we need braided griffin feathers. I have never heard of these before. Can you even buy these of Bazaar? Doesn't seem like it. How do you craft this then? Ah, okay, so I need soul string. What if I just buy the feather from the auction house? 14.5 million each? Damn. How much would it be if I just made it myself? So that would be 8 million. One stack of soul string is like 800k. So that's like, what, 3.2 million plus the 8 million, so like 11.2. So yeah, it would be way cheaper to just craft it myself. But I kind of like this guy's money making method. It's the same dude selling all of them. I really want to support this honest businessman. I have always thought auction flipping is cool. Like it can be a really good money making method if you have patience. Most people don't have that though, me included. And now we have all the feathers. Spend few extra mil, but hey, doesn't matter. Okay, next we need null plates. Oh damn, you need a lot of items for this. Oh yeah, and this is the reason why quartz was so expensive last month. There's so many items you need for this. I'm just gonna check the auction house real quick. 68 million and I need three of these? Oh look, it's the same dude I bought the feathers from. I wonder how much money he makes this way. I hope I don't ruin his money making method with this video. I'm not sure if I want to buy the null plates from the auction house, so I'm just gonna get these first. 32 lapis and then these absolute ender pearls. Almost three mil in the auction house. So one mil for the ender pearls and one point six for the lapis. So this guy's making like 400k profit. I guess we're gonna help out another businessman. Now we just need these null plates. I guess they're not too hard to craft, so I'm just gonna craft them. These are only 500k. I need nine of them though. Okay, I got them all. Honestly, not sure how we ever survived without bin and bazaar. Stack of quartz is 44 mil. That is quite expensive. And then I need three stacks of these. One, two, three. 
There it is. Before I do this, we have to have a silent moment for all those nons who don't have a quick crafting. Because you can't craft a bow without it. These items don't stack. And in the recipe, they are literally in a stack. It feels so weird to use the quick crafting because I always craft my cool items normally. But no can do. I don't really have a choice. So here we go. Can I call myself an endgame player now? It's so fast. I think it's a tradition by now that we go to the crypt before we enchant it. 300k with unenchanted bow? I wonder what it's gonna be like after I enchant it. Let's try tux real quick. It's hard to get a crit though. Okay, there we go. 375k, so it went up like 70k. Oh, that's 429. Yeah, okay, let's go enchant this thing. The great thing here is that we are enchanting a bow. There should be way less expensive bow enchants than there are sword enchants. Not sure though, because I haven't maxed out a bow in a really long time. I guess we will just start with the dragon hunter. That should be 16. First book done. Before I buy more, let's get the free ones out of the way. Power, we're gonna buy this one. Telekinesis, well, we have to get this from Rusty, of course. I think we're gonna skip this one. Pretty sure Flame is useless as well. We are gonna buy this one. This one we do need though. The old aiming enchant. First enchant on my bow is Dragon Tracer. Well, it makes sense. I'm probably gonna use this a lot on dragons. Impaling increases the damage against squids and guardians. Well, I guess it can be useful in floor three. This should be the last E-table enchant we need. Now let's get the expensive ones. Power 7, 57 mil. Soul Eater 5, 20 million. Oh, this is such a useless enchant and it's 40 million coins. But it's not maxed without it. Cubism 6, 29 mil. Yeah, I don't think 77 million is the real price of this thing. I wonder if anyone has ever fell for that. 200k sounds a little bit better. I can't believe I paid so much for the chance book. Like, this is a really good book and it's only 16 mil. No! No one is selling Snipe 4. I feel like this is gonna be First Strike 5 all over again. Yeah, you get it from experiments. I don't think I'm gonna see one anytime soon. This is we meet again. 28 million coins for this. I think it has went up. This should be all. Well, except the Snipe I couldn't buy. 405 levels to put this on the bow. Oh, I have almost exactly enough. That's kind of funny. I'm just gonna add the snipe for later because it could literally take days before there's one in the auction house. It doesn't make that big of a difference anyway. Okay, let's go test the damage again. Before all these enchants, we dealt 400k, I think. Now we deal 28k, nice. There is no way we are only dealing 50k more. No, wait, that's another 440k. 450k there. Okay, so we paid 200 mil for 50k damage. That is a big yikes. Let's get the recom and the hot potato books real quick. And of course the fumings as well. Gotta be careful that I don't put a fuming too early. That's all the potato books done. Wait, actually, can you put um, Art of War on a bow? Well, bow is a weapon, so I assume so. I have never tried this before. Oh, well, seems like you can. The more you know. That five strength is gonna carry me in dungeons. Feels really weird to come here. I honestly don't even remember when I last used the blacksmith. Nowadays you always use reforged stones. Okay, there we go. We got hasty. Easy crit chance. Hey, it's time to meet Rusty again. My second favorite NPC. Still charging only 100 coins after all these years. Legend. Okay, now we are dealing half a million. It's just not very useful if you can't deal it with every shot. The bow divides your crit chance by four. So even with the hasty reforged, my crit chance is only 61. Time to change all the talisman enrichments. And we will change this thing from magic find to crit chance. And we are still 30% away. It better be higher in the dungeons because that's where I'm mostly gonna use this bow. But before I go and die a horrible death in the master mode, I should probably buy the master stars. There is currently four of them and they basically just increase your damage in the master mode. And master mode is the main reason why I got this bow, so they're gonna be worth it. The first star is 16 million, the second is almost twice as much. Oh, I guess this one is 30 mil as well. So only the first one is cheap. The rest of them are all 30 mil. That was like 110 million master stars. It's great that you only need essence for the normal stars. We don't need to spend any more money in this video, since I have the essence myself. The bow cost me 622 million coins. If I didn't get the core as a drop, it would have been like 1.3 billion. Uh, let's go see if this bow was worth the money. My cata level is only 37, and my my archer is only 29. I also didn't add the master stars yet because I want to see if I can tell the difference. No, my crit chance is 95%. It's so close. Hopefully I don't die instantly. Yeah, okay, this thing is OP. Feels like I'm playing normal mode. This is probably the first time I have ever killed any mobs in this floor. I know this bow makes this look really easy, but believe me, it's not. Especially as a Kata 37. I have always just played tank before and done literally nothing for the team. Now I can solo clear. I'm literally just one-shotting everything. I don't need any blessings for the blood mobs. Yeah, I'm dead. I just got clipped by Bonzo. My plan worked. I'm a trap god. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> not sure how long this is gonna take. Oh. It's not gonna take that long. We didn't have any blessings, that's my excuse. I'm gonna add the master stars and we're gonna get a world record duo run. 
there we go. That is my first item that has master stars. I hope I run into some mini bosses this time. Oh, there is one. I have no idea how much more I'm dealing now because the damage is just all over the place. It should be a lot. Well, 20%, but it's kind of hard to tell. Another mini boss? Like, what can this guy even do? I used to be so scared of these guys, but now I can just kill them without any blessings on. Terminator makes master mode so much more enjoyable. Yeah, I'm definitely way stronger now with the master stars. I can easily clear blood. I probably could have done it last round as well if I wasn't messing around with Bonzo. Blessings would help, though I could kill these guys way faster. Not like it really matters, though we're just testing the bow. So far, I'm very satisfied with my new weapon. 42% clear, let's go. Easiest S plus of my life. For reference, I just want to show you guys how well I did before getting Terminator. I always played as tank because here is what happens if I play as mage. Yeah, not, not very good. Obviously, I should have been left click mates there, but hey, the result would have been the same. For dungeons, I rate Terminator 10 out of 10. It's just so good. But what if you don't play dungeons? What else can you do? Kill dragons, of course. I'm gonna pre-fire with the axe and then just kill it with the terminator. Okay, 500k. Decent pre-fire, I guess. Let's see how good the bow is. I'm pretty sure that was like 1.5 mil. And I'm pretty sure it's true damage because this ghost damage I'm dealing with the axe doesn't actually hurt the dragon. Yeah, the terminator deals real damage because you can see the health bar going down. I'm just the only player in this lobby that is actually dealing any damage, so it's taking a while. If you have three people with terminators, you can kill the dragon really quickly. But I don't think anyone is gonna buy terminator just to kill dragons. It's a good weapon to use against them, but you don't really need it. Let's just farm some damage before it dies. Okay, 25 mil. Third place barely had 1 mil. And we get a claw. Too bad there not 4 mil anymore. So, do I think Terminator is worth the 1 billion price tag? Yeah, I would say so. Like, it's so good for master mode, which is the only way to get to get a 50 this decade. But I honestly think the Hyperion is still way better for a casual gamer. Even though it's not the meta for master mode, it's still really good for, like, all the basic floors, Wolf and Spider Slayer, and you can use it as a healing weapon when doing Enderman Slayer. So yeah, if you grind, like, 15 hours a day every single day, Terminator is a really nice thing to have. Otherwise, just get an aspect of the cherry. I mean, Hyperion. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might get myself to Kata 40 finally with my brand new Terminator. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>